Hello and welcome to Azaz, that's Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho, the show where we take your Zoho questions and spin them into Zanata Gold. I'm your host, Greg Belknap, Director of Zoho Development here at Zanata, uh, and today I am joined by one of our fabulous consultants making his channel debut, uh, the illustrious Ben. Ben, how are you doing today? Doing all right, Greg. How are you? <laughs> doing great. Uh, we've got a, a good question that uh, I had Ben take a look at for uh, the best way to set up some stuff with uh, organizational emails. So let's go ahead and hop into that question. This uh, was posted over on our online forum, Club Zanata, where Terry Stevens asked, what is the best way to configure org emails for Zoho One if I want to manage all emails in Zoho Mail rather than a third party like Outlook or Gmail. For example, uh, hello at domain or support at domain, recruit, etc. I can't justify paying standalone use subscriptions for just those emails since no one's actually using them. Right now, I've got a really messy mix of email group. Wondering what the normal way of setting up org emails are. FYI, hello would be for desk and CRM, support would be for desk, recruit would be for Zoho recruit. Uh, yeah, so sounds like Terry here, uh, like you said at the end there, what is a, you know, like the best practices, normal standard way of uh, setting up these kinds of organization emails? Uh, and that's something that we usually do through uh, email aliases. And uh, Ben, I believe you've got something prepared for us on how those normally get set up. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple different things we can touch on here. So with organizational emails in CRM, uh, you can send emails from CRM from a different email address than the one associated with your user account. Uh, so if we go into the settings here in CRM and under channels, we go to email and then organizational emails. And then you can add an email address here uh, that users can use to send mail from CRM. Uh, on the other end, we can set up email uh, aliases in Zoho Mail. Uh, so if you go to Zoho Mail and go to your profile icon and select your admin console, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, you'll want to go to users and select the user that you want to set up the email alias for. And then you'll go to mail settings and email aliases. And then you can set up an email alias that you can receive and send mail from. So once you have that set up, you can set up a forwarding rule by going back to your inbox and then going to settings going to filters and then create a filter where the condition is the to field is your email alias and then set it up to forward to Zoho desk. So that way you can use your domain email address or whatever email address you want along with Zoho desk. So uh, it, got, it looks like it sounds like a key uh, difference there. It's interesting that, uh, you know, you have all these different settings and different spots. So there's the the email alias itself, you mm -hmm. set that up in an admin console, but then, the, but then the forwarding rules, you set those up inside of your your Zoho mail settings, but not Zoho mail admin settings. So slight difference there. Right, right. But yeah, once you set that up, uh, then you can forward those emails to desk automatically and use that email address with desk. And you can also use it on individual emails from your email inbox by just switching the font from address when you're sending an email. So that covers organizational emails in CRM and then uh, email aliases and forwarding rules in Zoho Mail so that you can use it with Zoho Desk. Fantastic. Uh, and then uh, just to, to clarify for, you know, maybe people are just getting started with this kind of stuff. Uh, an email alias is you're not actually setting up a brand new email account. You're essentially just setting up a uh, that 
you can create multiple addresses that are all feeding into the same inbox. Yeah, right, exactly. So you guys set it up just to lead to like your super admin or um, or if you have some kind of separate admin account, uh, you know, so that you only have like one spare license, which oftentimes we end up really liking that idea for a lot of systems of setting up some like one, not dummy license, but one license that is meant to just have like permissions for building automations and uh, and things like that. Uh, and then kind of using that as like your big funnel for all these different, uh, yeah, email, uh, endpoints, you know, like, like, like he mentioned, hello for, you know, maybe sales stuff or, uh, support at for those, uh, support tickets. And then using those aliases to kind of, uh, filter, uh, filter that stuff around. Ben, in your, in your experience, with consulting folks on this kind of stuff, when should I spin up a separate email for a particular uh, for a particular situation? Well, uh, I think if you want to, or if you already have email addresses that you use for your support at or whatever it is, and you want to use those, you can use a email alias. But if you have a completely separate user account, someone else that will be handling just those emails, but desk isn't appropriate, um, then you might set up a separate user account with a separate email address. Well, yeah. Well, excellent. Ben, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Appreciate that uh, little tutorial. And that'll do it for us here at Azaz today. Thank you once again to Ben for joining us. Uh, as always, we would appreciate a like and subscribe here on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you found this video useful, uh, you can also follow us on your favorite podcast app. Uh, and head over to Sonata.com. We've got uh, resources on uh, all the different Zoho bundles, uh, as well as uh, our newsletter you can sign up for to get info straight to your inbox about the latest Zoho news. Uh, join our uh, online community, Club Zonata, to uh, post your questions where they could end up on this show uh, or just answered by any one of our uh, experts on our team. You can also uh, get team training uh, packages uh, to get your team trained up on some of the core Zoho apps in less than a week. Uh, that's going to do it for us here. We'll see you in the next video.